Hello everyone, so now I'm going to talk about ZBrush formats. So Z, ZBrush formats, there's two saving formats when we save files in ZBrush. The first one is .ztl, the uh, Z2 file, which saves the current model, the mesh, as well as its sub tool, which is kind of like the layers in the outliner in Maya or the layers in Photoshop, if you think about it. Okay, that uh, is actually called sub tools because uh, the layers itself in ZBrush is actually another component. Okay, so we just call it sub tools. So this will save just the mesh. Uh, another way of saving is you save as a ZPR, which is a Z ZBrush project file, and it saves your entire project with all the settings, your mesh, as well as the camera, the lighting, the uh, material that you're currently on. So let's show you an example. So let's say if I were to open a demo head, light box, open a demo head over here. You can see that the demo head starts off with a gray color. The lighting is a default lighting color. And then the, yeah, the camera view is currently here. So if we were to change here, first I'll change the material to a red wax material. I'll rotate it so that the camera is doing the back view instead. And then the lighting is still a default lighting. So all this will be saved together in my scene. Okay. The uh, material, the lighting, the camera angle will be saved in my scene. Together with my mesh. My two mesh, which is my the eyeball as well as the guy's head. So let's do a save for the project file, save as, or you can press control save on your keyboard. So if you want to look at the status, it says a save project, control S, and press save here. Okay, so one thing just to take note is uh, normally I don't like to have the undo history. It's almost always that I off undo history so that I keep my files smaller. And as your work progresses, you will find that Z project file is way bigger okay, compared to Z2 file because Z2 file says only the mesh itself. So if you save a Z project, Remember the off history, that's what I would recommend you. But if you want to off on uh, history, go ahead, but uh, normally I'll off it. So I'll save. Okay, so, so I'll call it uh, for demo head with project settings. So it has the materials, the lighting, the camera angle right now. Okay. So when we save a Z2 file, it doesn't matter if I'm on this view or that view because it will not be saved. So, but uh, it's still useful because we can just have the Z2 file is a little bit more lightweight. And the most important thing is our mesh, our scalp is there, right? So we have still have our scalp. So in this case, uh, there is two objects. We have the eyeball as well as the human head. But uh, I'll just try to show you. So now the material is red and I'm on the side view and then I'll save this Z2 file. I'll call it a demo head side view, but it will not be safe. Because why? The camera view as well as the uh, material is part of a scene file, a project scene file. So the when I save it as a Z2 file, it will actually not be safe. Okay, so now I'll actually demonstrate to you how you load a, load a Z2 file. So if I were to open up a normal cube in the light box, okay, so let's say this is the cube that we have right now. I change this material this time to be gold color. So we have a gold cube. And then if I were to load the Z2, then demo hit side view, it will not give me a side view. It will not give me a side view because why? The camera angle will not be safe. It only saves, Z2 only saves the mesh. And uh, it will, the scene currently responds to the material I give it, which is uh, the scene that is gold color, the lighting is the default, and the camera angle is still the front camera because I just loaded the file. So if you want to load back your Z2 file, just open up any uh, project window, it's facing the front, and then you can just load in your demo head, and you'll be facing the front view. Okay, but if you want to load in a project that has the camera view and everything, and your material set properly, uh, I can press Ctrl O, which is to load my project. And I can load in my the demo head with project settings, which is the first file that I saved, .zpr file. The long way to go is to go file and you press open, and you press the uh, file demo head project settings. And then you will load in 
look at that. I have my material safe, I have my lighting safe, I have the first camera angle that I save over here. So I'll continue where I left off. Oh, you can think of it that way. Continue where you left off. And next time when you are able to save uh, different camera angles in ZBrush, which for rendering, it will be most useful to uh, save the project file when you, you set up the camera angles for rendering. Okay, so hope you understand about saving uh, ZBrush Z project files as well as uh, saving Z2 files. Takes a while to know, but normally I'll save both. Uh, means uh, once in a while, maybe most of the time I'll save a ZPR, but uh, every day, maybe before I end the night, you know, I'll save both of this file for sure. So just so that I have both copies, ZBrush does crash very often. It has auto save, but don't count on it. Um, and uh, also the files do get corrupted, especially for new users, because um, if you may not do things that ZBrush likes you to do. And uh, you tend to make, make some mistakes that will make it easier for the files to corrupt. So in that case, uh, just be careful and try to save both versions at the end of the day so that you have a backup. If you want further backup, uh, it's best that you export the file as well. So if uh, in terms of ZBrush exporting, the best way is uh, you export it as a .obj file. .obj file will allow you to go to uh, various different softwares like Maya and uh, 3ds Max, uh, different 3D modeling software. I don't recommend you exporting out as .ma or using GoZ because um, it has some issues. I feel like the most straightforward is still to just export it as a .obj. So if I want to just export this as .obj, just go to Tools, Export, Export as a .obj format, then we'll hit .obj. And if I want to import in an OBJ, once again, I can just open it up a scene, any scene from here will be pretty useful. I open up the doc scene, it's at the tree total view of this doc, and I can actually import in my demo head OBJ. Okay, so it works. So if you export in an OBJ on, uh, or you if you load in a tool, it's kind of similar. You, the kind of methods that you bring in the file is very similar, except that when you export the OPJ, it's probably one by one. So just now only has the hit over here. Okay, so that's all about formats. Uh, see you next time. Bye.